Today we're going to count down the English league clubs which have gotten worse since 2007. I've done my calculations based on their final position in the 06-07 season and why they finished last season in 2023. So without further ado, let's begin. Our first club is Charlton Athletic. In the 06-07 season, they were battling relegation in the Premier League with players like Darren Bent and Matt Holland. Three managers in a season saw them finish in 19th place, falling down to the second tier. Fast forward 16 years later and they've fallen down in League One. All in all, they've lost 35 league positions. Last season though, they came 10th, so with a good few additions, maybe they can restore their championship status. Boston United. 16 years ago, they finished in 23rd place in League Two, ending a five-year stay in the Football League. Since then, things haven't been very rosy. Last season saw them finish 15th in the Vanarama National League North, 12 points outside of the playoffs. Our second Premier League club, Bolton Wanderers. Back in 2007, they placed 7th in the top flight, earning a place in the UEFA Cup. If that was the high point, the low had to be back in 2016 when they were relegated in last place to League One. Since then, they've yo-yoed back and forth between the championship. All in all, they've fallen 42 positions. Another spectacular fall from grace, Portsmouth. In 06-07, they finished 9th in the Premier League. In the following season, they'd even won an FA Cup. But over the next 16 years, the club went through a terrible period. In the space of just four years, they went from the top flight down to League Two. There's been somewhat of a resurgence though, as they find themselves back in the third tier, but still have lost 43 places. Darlington were once an established Football League side. They spent 20 years in there before being relegated to the conference in 2010. Since then, things have gotten worse. They've spent the last seven years in the Vanarama North, falling 47 league positions. It's hard to believe, but Oldham Athletic were once in the Premier League. In the 92-93 season, they avoided relegation on goal difference. But by 2007, they'd fallen to League One. Things were going to get a lot worse though, and in 2022, they lost their Football League status altogether. They finished last season in 12th place, falling 54 places in 16 years. In 2007, Colchester United finished 10th in the Championship. The following season, they would lose their second tier status. 16 years later, and things have gotten even worse. They placed 20th in League Two, moving down 58 league positions. Another team who've moved down 58 places, Southend United. In the 06-07 season, they were relegated from the Championship in 22nd place. In 2021, they lost their Football League status. In their second season in the Vanarama National, they ended up in 8th place. But let's move on to our penultimate team. And it's Yeovil Town. In 06-07, they finished 5th in League One, earning a playoff place. In 2013, they eventually made it up to England's second tier. But since then, things have gone very awry. In 2019, they lost their Football League status, and last season, they were actually relegated to the Vanarama South. All in all, they've lost 65 places. But who's the team which has gotten the worst? That unfortunate title goes to Scunthorpe United. 16 years ago, thanks to 30 goals from Billy Sharp, they just earned promotion to the Championship after winning League One. Since then, they've fallen 70 league places. Their 23rd place finish in the National League last season will see them competing in the 6th tier from next season. Definitely not the direction they want to be going. So that draws our top 10 to a close. Without a doubt, all of these clubs would appreciate the invention of a time machine. But maybe with some astute signings and a bit of luck, they can make their way back up the Football League pyramid. Thanks for watching this video.